Welcome to Movie Capped. At the beginning of the film, it is stated that the body of a famous actress named Anna Fritz is discovered during a party. It means that Anna Fritz died during the party for some reason. Her body has been delivered to the morgue. Following that, two friends are shown, one of whom is named Ivan. They are on their way to see their friend Pow in the hospital. They were actually on their way to a party together. Pow's shift will be over after one hour, because Pa works in the morgue of this hospital. The three friends come out. They drink a lot and start talking about Anna Fritz. Ivan asks Pa, can we see her dead body? Pa refuses because it was risky. His job may be jeopardized as a result of this. Anna Fritz was a popular and appealing actress. That's why Ivan kept insisting on it. See her? His friends agree when he insists on them a lot. Paul takes his friends to a location where no one is permitted to go, putting his job in jeopardy. They finally reach the morgue. Paul stands near a dead body. He says this is the dead body of Anna Fritz. As Paul removes the cloth from the dead body, it was an old lady's dead body. Seeing it, Ivan and his friend get scared. Paul was kidding with them. Then Paul comes to Anna Fritz's dead body. Paul removes the cloth from her face. He shows Anna Fritz to his friends. Anna was lovely. Ivan removes yet another layer of clothing from her body. He wasn't believing he is standing near a famous actress. He touches Anna Fritz's body. Ivan's friends seem this strange. It wasn't good to do this with a dead body. Ivan knowingly asks his friend to touch Anna. Ivan's friend does the same. Later, Ivan crosses all the limits. He says, I want to come closer to Anna just once. Ivan's friend forbids him from doing this. But Ivan becomes obstinate. Ivan was inspired to do this because she was a famous actress and was so beautiful, no matter whether she is alive or dead. Pa tells them, I also have done this once. He says to Ivan, I will also do what you will do with Anna Fritz. Their friend seems this thing is wrong. They shouldn't do this. He was with his friends, so he must agree with them. No matter he will not do this like his friends, he has to bear and see all this. They have drugs, and later, Pa and his friend come to another room. Ivan comes closer to Anna's dead body. Then Paul goes closer to her and also does the same. Suddenly, we notice an astonishing thing. That is, suddenly, Anna opens her eyes. She has resurrected. She was in her senses, but Paul doesn't know this, that Anna Fritz has revived. He gets scared after knowing this. He starts screaming. Hearing his voice, Ivan and his friend come there. Paul tells them Anna Fritz has revived. Seeing Anna alive, Pau and Ivan become panicked. Anna knew that the two have done this to her. Anna will tell this to the police after going out. What have they done with her in the morgue? Thinking this, Ivan makes a plan to end Anna. He doesn't want to take any kind of risk. Here, Ivan's friend helps Anna. He wraps him in a cloth. Ivan's friend disagrees to end Anna. How they can murder anyone. Ivan's friend says, You have done this to Anna. You should be punished for this. Due to this, Ivan and his friend get into a fight. In this fight, Ivan easily defeats his friend. Paul comes and solves this matter. Ivan realizes he has inflicted such a severe blow on his friend, he has a deep wound in his head. His head is also bleeding. His friends think to give him first aid. It is shown when Paul's colleague brought a dead body here, they hide. Paul's colleague leaves after putting the body there and locking the morgue. It means they can't go out from here. They can't give first aid to their friend. Anna also can't do anything to save her. Because she has revived after so many hours, that's why her legs were not working. Her hands were also not moving. Then Paul and Ivan take Anna and their friend to another room. Paul changes his clothes. Meanwhile, his colleague arrives. Anna tries to tell him while screaming that I am alive and in danger. Before she says anything, Ivan puts a hand on her face. Paul leaves with his colleague from there. Ivan's friend wasn't breathing. Ivan becomes terrified upon seeing him, and Anna speculates that he may be dead. When Paul returns after some time, he is also aware of it, that his friend has died. Paul starts weeping because of it. Ivan consoles him and says there is not our fault. It was just an accident. Anna says you will be in jail for all this. Shut up, says Ivan. Ivan takes Paul outside to make a plan. Our lives, our future, everything will be ruined if we are caught. Ivan warns. We have to hide our friend's dead body somewhere. We also have to end Anna Fritz. Anna makes herself fall from the stretcher. She tries to call someone while taking the mobile from their friend's pocket. Meanwhile, Paul and Ivan also come inside. 
They snatch the mobile from her, while checking the mobile history and discovers Anna has called someone. But she couldn't talk. They take Anna to another place. Then there was a call from someone on their friend's mobile. It was the call of the person the number Anna has dialed. Anna has called her father. As Ivan answers the phone, Anna screams for help and calls her father. But Paul puts a hand on her mouth to stop her. By mistake, we called you and disconnects the call while saying this. Ivan takes Anna to the morgue and slaps her hardly. On it, Anna says you will get the punishment for this. Ivan screams and says to Anna, Don't forget you were a dead body now, I will again make you a dead body. Then Ivan leaves for bringing the container. So he will take his friend's dead body somewhere else. Paul ties Anna's hands and feet. Anna tells him that he does not need to support Ivan. Three isn't our fault because you didn't do anything. He has done all this. He is a liar. He has ended your friendship. Paul says okay, but that was an accident. Anna says no, there is nothing like this. When you went outside with your colleague, Ivan ended while pressing his neck. Suddenly, Paul thinks about it. Then he puts tape on Anna's mouth to shut her mouth. Anna crawls out of the morgue when she gets a chance. She escapes. Ivan was also returning with the container. Pa was busy cleaning the blood. Ivan tells Pa, Anna has run. They start searching for Anna. Anna had arrived at the lift while crawling and was about to flee. Ivan arrives there and stops the lift's door to be closed. He again takes Anna to the morgue. Then Pa says to Ivan, I know you have ended our friend. On it, Ivan says, yes, I have ended him. But that was an accident, I haven't ended him willingly. Pa says, no, you are telling a lie. You have ended him while pressing his neck. Hearing this, Ivan gets nervous, like he has ended his friend while pressing his neck in reality. Even yet, Ivan refuses, claiming that this is a lie. You should not be bound by what Anna has said. Later, Pa and Ivan decide how to end Anna. As a result, there will be no professors left. Ivan says to end her while stopping her breath. For this, Pa gives a cloth to Ivan. Ivan returns the cloth and says to Pa, You will end Anna, not me. Pa doesn't want to end Anna because Ivan has ended their friendship. Ivan doesn't want to make himself responsible for this crime. Ivan holds Pa's hand and forcefully puts the cloth on Anna's mouth. They didn't remove the cloth, and here, Anna dies once again. They put Anna's body on a stretcher and put their friend's body in the container. Ivan leaves with the container. Pa cleans Anna's body as well. Ivan returns while throwing his friend's dead body at a place. Pa has cleaned Anna's body. He was leaving, but before leaving, Pa removes the cloth for once from Anna's face. He notices Anna is still alive. Pa asks Anna to stay silent and relax. Here the question is, Anna was dead. So, how did she resurrect? When Anna told Pa that it was all Ivan's fault, she did nothing. They then devised a strategy. According to the plan, when Anna was about to die before this, she pretended to be dead. She acted so nice to be dead that Ivan doesn't know this. Ivan has also returned to morgue. They were leaving from there. Before leaving, Ivan checked his wallet. His ID card was not there. Ivan returns to the morgue and takes his ID card. Here, Pa tries to stop him, but Ivan comes inside. He also notices Anna Fritz is still alive. Seeing Anna alive, Ivan becomes aggressive with Pau. He starts pressing his neck. Ivan does not want to lose his friend like before. That's why he leaves him. But then Anna stabs scissors on Ivan's neck. His neck is cut as a result of it. Ivan dies after some time. Paul notices it and tells Anna that we don't have to do this. Anna also kills Paul by stabbing him. This is the end of the film. Thank you for your time. Make sure to subscribe for a cookie.